Now, this is the second part. Now we're going to be testing for a parallelogram. You have to follow the same five rules. It's just this time you're going to test and see if it is a parallelogram. So they won't tell you, hey, this is a parallelogram. You have to test it. So remember, both pair of opposite sides are parallel. So this side has to be parallel to this side. This side has to be parallel to this side. Both pair of opposite sides are congruent. This side is congruent to this side. This side is congruent to this side. Both pair of opposite angles are congruent. This angle is congruent to this one. Oops. And this angle is congruent to this one. And the diagonals bisect each other. So this diagonal cuts this diagonal in half and vice versa. So this piece is congruent to this piece. <clears throat> and this one is congruent to this one. So it has to be both. Now they also say that opposite sides a pair of opposite sides is both parallel and congruent. Here, both pairs had to be opposite, both pairs had to be parallel, or both pairs had to be congruent. Here, you can have one pair that's opposite and congruent. So I could say this side's parallel to this side, and this side is congruent to this side, and that would be enough information. So these five things you need to know. All right, so now we're gonna look at the pictures based on their marks. So we'll be looking back at these. And we're going to determine yes or no, and then we're going to pick a reason. One, two, three, four, or five. Okay. So uh, this this side is not equal to this side. So right away, that's no. They're not going to. This is not a parallelogram. This side is congruent to this side, and this side is parallel to this side. So yes, this is a parallelogram because of reason number five. Opposite one pair is both parallel and congruent. This side is parallel to this side. This side is parallel to this side. Yes, because of reason number one. This side is congruent to this side. This diagonal, this piece is congruent to this piece. No, because it has to be both pieces or both sides. So not enough information. All right. So let's find X so that this is a parallelogram. So all I have is one pair is parallel. But if they're also congruent, then that'll be reason number five again. So what we're going to do is we're going to say 4x minus 1 is equal to 3 times x plus 2, and we're just going to solve for x. So we've got 4x minus 1 is equal to 6x, oops, sorry, 3x plus 6. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So 4x minus 3x is x minus 1 equals, and we subtracted that 3x, 6, and then we're going to add this one to both sides, so we get that x is 7. So when x is 7, this is a parallelogram. So if it, x is any other number, it's not a parallelogram. So your turn, okay? So these two sides are parallel, so we're going to set them equal, so 4m plus 2 is equal to 3m plus 8. So we're going to subtract 3m from both sides. So 4m minus 3m is m plus 2 equals cancels 8. So we're going to subtract this 2 from both sides. So m is 6. So when m is 6, this is a parallelogram. All right, this video is a little bit shorter than the other one but I wanted to break it up, and this is the last part, okay? So now we're going to use some coordinate geometry. We're going to determine whether ABCD with the vertices here is a parallelogram, and we're going to use the slope formula. Since we're on a grid, we can also do rise over run. So if the opposite sides are parallel, then it will be a parallelogram. So let's check the slope of AB. So we're going to go 1, two, three. So we're going to rise three and we're going to go over two. So we're going to rise three, run two. Now let's check CD. This time we're going to go one, two, three. So we went down three and we're going to go backwards two. So now we're going to go backwards two. Well, the negatives cancel out. So it's three over two, three over two. So therefore, AB is parallel to CD. So AB 
is yeah. parallel to CD. So, so far I have one pair of parallel sides. So now let's check the slope of AD. AD says to go down one in one, two, three, four, over four. So we're going to go down one over four. So now let's check BC. Up one, one, two, three, four. Backwards four. Up one, backwards four. Well, these two are the same. So now I know that AD is parallel to BC. So since the opposite sides are parallel, AB is parallel to CD and AD is parallel to BC. Therefore, ABCD is a parallelogram. Parallel O gram. Sound it out. All right, so this is the second part, much shorter than the first part. See you guys in class.